Welcome to Looking Back, a combo edition of weeks five and six. Playoff baseball started. Cubs kind of got me down, but uh, it's all been a blur the last couple of weeks. So we're, we're morphing the last two. We've got Cole on, my my co-host, my PP. Hi. Cole T. I'm your PP. My my podcast partner. <laughs> really trying to get that to catch on. Okay. And then we also welcome back to the uh, program Matt Runa, fantasy Yo. football expert. Yeah. Wow. Light. Nice. You got a light, Runa? I found a light, so I'm not in the dark. Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, do you want to uh, kind of walk us through week five? We're in week six now, but week five scores, maybe? Sure. Are you asking Rona or me? I didn't hear. Cool. All right, let's do it. So, week five. I think we had like a week five preview beforehand. I, I think we recorded like midweek, so um, I don't even know if the Thursday night game I played at that point. So, yeah. Getting caught up on some scores here. Uh, Josh, me and you had an absolute epic battle. <laughs> it was a, it was built up. It was a barn burner. Yeah. Through and through. I uh, I somehow managed to squeak by you with a massive score of 95.1 to, yeah. Josh, what would you have? 73.7. 73.7. I just asked if, in my head, if that was the lowest score of the week or yeah. in the season. And I look over to my right, and Kevin McCush scored 58 and a half. 58 and a half. Kevin McCush, a little rough right now. It, part of me is thinking that, you know, I'm, I'm looking at his bench. I'm seeing some guys that are on IR, a lot of outs. I'm wondering what's going on with Kevin. Has he given up? I hope not. Um, Kevin, doesn't, Kevin doesn't give up. He's a, a fancy savant. Or it could be, uh, could be a little busy at work. You know, he has a few things going yeah. on. Yeah. Um, yeah, that might be. That's probably it. So, Kevin McCush with, unfortunately, the low score of the week at 58.5, losing to Sarah um, with a score of 98.6. So, we got a lot of high scores so far. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the high of the week, congratulations to Matt Rona. Woo! 145.5 victory over uh, Greg with a score of 93.7. Who was your high that week, Rona? I think my new brand new pickup, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson, looking good, yeah. getting some, getting some yards in the air on the ground. Do you yeah. ever? Throwing touchdowns, dude. That the little the little spark, you know, after the list. I mean, it might be my first week over 100, so it's kind of exciting to finally not only break that but top everybody. JJ yeah. JJ Watt out for the season, but that you know. Oof. That's stop gonna turn Watson was in your season, buddy. It's going to turn around your season. Watson. Yeah. Joe Mixon as well. I don't – Bengals were on a bye this week, right? So he, Yeah, so on week five they were on a on a bye. So he – Week six. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Bye. Week six, yeah. yeah. So he – I mean, I, I got a touchdown out of everybody except Matthews. So can't everyone, really go wrong with everyone's that. Everyone's waiting for, uh, for Mixon to turn it on a little bit. We got Gio, Gio Bernard he's, still, but um, – He's trending in the right direction. I mean, he hasn't had that huge game yet, but every week's a little bit better. They're giving him more touches for sure. Uh, one of the closer matchups of the week, we had uh, Matt Eilers just squeaking by Fola, 114.4 to 108.5. Um, that was actually Matt's first victory of the year. Uh, so congratulations, congratulations to Eilers. Matt Eilers. Yeah. We got Dan Hesse coming in with a 124.5 over Amari Pooper, Mr. Tony Jerome, to a 96.3. Who did uh, who did Dan have? Alex Smith went off. Alex Smith. And, and AJ Green. AJ Green. Yeah. Huge game. And Chris Hogan as well. That's a that's a that's a little bit of a interesting play, I would say. He's been pretty consistent though. After week one, he's been pretty choice. Yeah, he's, he's got. Pretty- Tied for the lead and touchdowns, I think, maybe, yeah. with five or six. Now. He has a player rank of five right now. I had no idea he was doing that well. Yeah. Nice. Although, not jumping ahead uh, a week already, but uh, he did – I think he had a clunker with the Jets, got hurt maybe with his ribs or something. Came oh, really? Out of the game. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyways. That Jets game is real close. A lot of people 
Um, probably a little bit surprised by that one. Uh, the last matchup of the week, we got uh, Mr. John Rowe with by far the most consistent team in the league thus far with a 135. Oh, yeah. 135.8 victory over my wife, my wife, uh, 118.8 um, for Meredith. So, you know, uh, I would say a, a pretty valiant effort by Meredith. Just uh, – Better than me. Just ran into that freight train, Mr. John Rowe. So nobody can stop him. Oh God, you thought week five was something? Do we want to go over week six, or are we gonna save that? Oh, just wait, viewers. It gets better. Perfect. <laughs> and that's your matchups for this week, or for last week, actually. Yeah, pretty short and sweet. Uh, we had playoff baseball starting. The Hawks starting. I think we were all emotionally drained from the Bears-Packers matchup. Uh, I'm ready for Mitch. I'm ready for the Mitch era. Got his first win yesterday. Congrats. Yeah. yeah he, did. he had some smart throws. I think he still had overall pretty pretty uh, low numbers, but uh, just run it and let well, the kid do some bootlegs. <laughs> they ran – I saw Jordan Howard's numbers. like they Ridiculous, dude. 36 touches. That's, yeah. that's oh, crazy. No. <laughs> yeah. Final stat line, I was like, are you kidding me? He pounded the ball for almost 40 times. Like, that's unheard of. When's the last time you've seen anything over 30? I don't know. The Bears had, like, 50-something rushing plays or 50 rushing plays. That's crazy. Over over 200 yards rushing. That's old uh, old school football right there. Yeah. That smash mouth football, man. (laughs) They're going to murder. The boy is going to die, but at least they're uh, they're, they're playing him all right right now. Hey, you know – the defense is the real story, I think. I mean, yeah. they look pretty competitive on that side of the ball. Kyle Fuller's having actually a pretty good year. Uh, so that draft pick's kind of turn around. And uh, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, compared to last year, maybe even the year before that, like the Bears are, have been – obviously they won this week, but they've been pretty co- competitive in all their games, I'd say. I mean, maybe the Bucks game they fell a little flat, but – there's lots of light going on there, man. Definitely, right. definitely watchable for sure. Um, not the most exciting football, but you know, it, yeah, it it feels old school, like in its in its sense, yeah. and you know, control the clock, right? Solid defense. You know, you just try to take it out of the other players' hands and and see what you can do with it. So, did you guys watch any other football? Because I kept flipping back and forth between the Jets and the Patriots, yeah. and uh, and then stuck around for the later games. But uh, well, uh, I just he... I just watched my season end pretty much. Um, <laughs> yeah, do you want to talk about that now? I mean, Aaron Rodgers got smushed. Uh, I you know he broken collarbone. I'm sure most everyone that's watching this knows this already he he there's they announced he's gonna have surgery today sorry um, for your loss most likely done for the year um obviously devastating to green bay's chances to my fantasy chances <laughs> um <laughs> kind of all around uh kind of disappointing for sure and it, you know it wasn't a malicious play i would say maybe a little no. bit of, Maybe a little unnecessary to wrap him up, you know. He had clearly thrown the ball, but I, I don't, I don't. Um, it was a football play. Yeah, it, was I, it wasn't. Play. It wasn't. It wasn't anything that to to be upset about. It wasn't anything more than a football play. So I can't be upset about what happened. I mean, it, it is a violent game, and these things happen. It's just obviously super disappointing as a fan, and um, you know, here we are, week six, and I'm pretty much thinking we'll be lucky to be 500 at the end of the year, which is a little disappointing. Did you know it when he went down? I mean, did you um, think, oh, God, well, shoulder? I saw his reaction. Yeah. Um, you know, he was he, he, he was really, you know, kind of – he was coming off angry, which I'm like, all right, well, maybe – Maybe he, you know, maybe it's a strain. Maybe it's, 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 you know, maybe he dislocated something. Maybe it's, you know, not as serious as um, a broken collarbone. But, you know, when I saw him, the moment I, I kind of knew it was kind of over was when I saw him get carted off and I just saw like his head was down and, you know, Brett Hundley came over and, and gave him a little bit of a high five. But, 
you know, you could tell he 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 knew. Um, so what I'm the like, hell? I'm, I'm why checking. Did they... No, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just thinking, why why did they cart him off? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, so everybody knows he walked off the field and also like hopped in the medical tent. So it wasn't like in its shoulder, but um. Yeah, it's a great question. I don't, I don't really have an answer for why. Well, I, you know, I mean, I'll tell you, I didn't, uh, I didn't laugh or cheer or anything like that when I saw it happen. <laughs> I mean, uh, that sucks, and that's your favorite player on your favorite team, you know. So I, yeah. I uh, it, and this asking, is not, not the first time, which is also another yeah, disappointing thing. <laughs> asking about you know knowing if he was hurt when you saw him go down and all that, it was just like shades of losing Kyle Schwarber pretty early on, you know, I mean, it was, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it's deflating for sure. Favorite hey. player, favorite team and double fold because, uh, you got him on your fancy team. Totally. So that's why you're grieving. Totally. R- Ronald, what did you think? Yeah, I actually, well, I didn't watch the actual game. I, I don't even think it was on TV for me, but um, I did see a replay of it afterwards and they were showing him like, as he was walking towards the sideline, like swearing, I can only assume. I mean, I tried to read his lips, and right there, I knew something bad happened. Like, I mean, he was, he was saying bad words. Yeah, he was pissed at Anthony Barr. I mean, I mean, as a player, it, but... yeah. As, I mean, as a player, you know when something bad happened to your body, you just know instantly. I mean, a lot of these guys just you can see it on their face how much pain they're in. Um, I mean, collarbone maybe didn't look as much in pain, but like. The way he reacted with, you know, look, knowing the way he got tackled is, it hurt. And I think he knew before even any extras were taken that the season was over, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm sad that he's out because, um, uh, I wanted to see another, you know, Mitchell versus Aaron game. Mm. But, uh, it, you know, it was, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to be a homer, but he, he got tackled. And yeah, the guy I kind of drove him, right? But it was a football play. I don't think it was necessarily dirty. And and what Rona was touching on was he was clearly saying F you to that dude. And uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it is a little Bear fan coming out, but I, it's like what the guy's job is to, to tackle you and, and, you know, Create a pass rush and all that, and it's just uh, mm-hmm. it's unfortunate. I guess he would, you know, I would probably react the same way though. I'd be frustrated as fuck, and he's having it, his adrenaline rushing and all that. So hard yeah. to say what you can do. I mean, in the moment, right? Like right. that's just right. it's it's. I I agree that you know probably wasn't the best reaction, um, but in the moment, I totally get it, especially. You know, he clearly thought the ball was out of his hand. The guy could have shoved him. You know, that is probably the only reason you get upset in that moment. But, yeah, you know, I, I don't think that there was any, like, ill intent or – I mean, no. he's trying to hurt him, but he's not trying to hurt him. Like, he's, you know, yeah. he's trying to he's trying to tackle him. He's trying to make a football play. So Football, bro. Yeah. Have you guys ever broken any bones as, uh, as a kid or growing up? Rona, I'll let you answer first. Uh, if you should have gone first because I got nothing. I'm no? never actually been lucky to never. Nothing that I've known of. Let's say that. I mean, maybe like a thumb. I don't know. Dislocated a thumb. Hmm. But nothing I've been treated for. Sprained ankles, but nothing ever broken. Hmm. I, um, when I was a kid, you know, growing up with an older brother, we'd always, we were way into like WWF, so we'd always like practice fake wrestling well wrestling Hell moves yeah. right so uh a ddt gone wrong led to my bro- <laughs> led to my brother uh landing on top of my wrist and breaking my wrist so that was fun Ooh. oh shit and it was Brit? it was literally two months before i was s- supposed to and i did end up going um to michael jordan basketball camp which was like the highlight of my childhood so yeah. when we went to uh went to the physician he and and my mom had to explain to this man we just spent a shit ton of money he, to go to Michael Jordan basketball camp <laughs> how long does he have to have this on the dude starts laughing 
Um, which is not the reaction that, you know, neither my mom or myself wanted to hear your doctor laughing yeah. at you when you told them something like no. that. Uh, so I got the cast off like literally a week before or a few days before I went. So, um, probably, probably got it off of maybe a little bit earlier than they would have, uh, normally, but, um, made the best of it. So that's the only bone you've broken. Um, thumb as well. Um, but nothing, no other major, no like major limbs. What about you? Uh, I've broken a few bones. I, I've broken a bone in my left foot, and I broke my ankle in my left foot two different times. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I broke my pinky bone mm-hmm. playing football, and I broke my thumb. Mm-hmm. And I've got an assortment of stitches, too. I was, a, I was just a little boy being a boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. That was not fun. The the I, I broke my ankle my senior year of high school being a hooligan, but uh when I broke my foot I was much younger and I wanted to be in a cast and have all my friends sign the cast. Yeah. And then when I was a senior in high draw, school draw penises all over them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Lots of dicks. But <laughs> When I was a senior, they gave me the option. Uh, it was broken really bad. And they're like, well, we can put you in a cast or we can give you a walking boot. And I was like, give me the walking boot. Because if you've had a cast, the cast is terrible. At first, you think it's cool as shit. Especially when you're a kid growing up, like, in the summertime when it happens to Because you can't – I remember, like, want to go with my friends to the pool wet. and, like, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You have to put the trash bag over yourself. It's, it's... – <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, so I, you know, I, I figured that week five, week six, a lot of people are getting decimated by injuries. I mean, it seems more rampant this year than in the years past. I remember uh, definitely you know, it always happens, but, uh, Rona, you lost David Johnson, T- Cole, you, uh, lost Zeke to suspension, but Dalvin cook to an ACL and now Aaron Rodgers <laughs> to a collarbone injury. Yeah. So, I was I was trying to gauge you guys' pain tolerance because part of the this or that that I have is oh. kind of like injury theme. And one of those up the, uh, up at the top was: Would you rather tear your ACL or break your collarbone? Hmm. Both are supposed to be pretty painful. Um, I would probably pick the collarbone. You I think, think so? I wouldn't fuck with ligaments. Like ligaments, <sighs> that's yeah. that's that you may never recover from but a broken bone uh, i to me is good more likely zone. to good spin zone. more likely to heal better i would say than than uh than the acl even though you know i know obviously there's a lot of players that come back from that injury and they're never like jordy nelson perfect example he's never been he's not completely the same guy and and my, some of that might be due to age but you gotta yeah. think that some of it is the knee as well you never fully come back from from that um, to where you were before. I've actually had a uh, a collarbone injury, like a small little. I, I don't know that it was necessarily a break. It wasn't oh. a break like Aaron, but. Uh, and how was it? It was awful. It was one of the most painful things I've ever. I got hit by a crutch in a bar. It was terrible. <laughs> I'm, it's sorry. A true, I'm sorry. It's I, a true story. I, it just the the fact that you got hit by an instrument that's supposed to support you when you break your bone. Yeah, <laughs> some some town drunk that was like uh, out for blood that night or something. He was just picking fights, man. It was terrible. He, he meant to swing it at my buddy, yeah. and uh, I kind of like turned around and uh, I completely forgot about this. I'm so sorry. We're gonna have like, to go back and redo that last segment. But uh, yeah, he was like. You know, just we're all drunk at a bar at the end of the night. Nothing good happens when when it's that time. And uh, he's jawing with my buddy, and they were ready to throw hands. And then uh, we were like, "Let's go home." We started walking out the door. Probably yelled something at him, and then all of a sudden he just was like, "Hey!" and crutch is ramming speed through the air, and uh, had no time to react. Fun fact: uh, the the city got a hold of it, St. Charles, Illinois. And they wanted to prosecute this guy, make an example of him, because apparently he had a long rap sheet. So I had to go on the witness stand and testify against this guy. It was really weird. Did you have to point? Well, at the, did you have to point at the crutch? No. 
Son, could you tell? Could you show <laughs> what part of the crotch hit you? Uh, it was the padded part that goes under your armpit. God damn it! <laughs> Cole's gold bone, Rona, ACL or collarbone? Uh, you know, I was thinking about it, but after hearing Cole explain it, it sounds like the. the uh, I like the idea of a bone healing a little, a little better. No, yeah, no. though I hear it's pretty painful. I guess there's always uh, yeah, pain meds, like right? It, 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 you if just can't thing... can't laugh. You can't breathe barely. I mean, it's. You know, <sighs> I guess it's just, not a rib. It's a little higher than that, but. Yeah, you know, it's just essential things: eating, <laughs> drinking, showering, all breathing. I, I, don't I know. just, I don't. I, to me, like legs, like knees. That's that fucks legs, you up. Knees. That fucks you up forever, yeah. right? Yeah, like, that's, that's true. That's actually true. Good, good point, Cole. You're always the voice of reason on this show. <laughs> I need my I, know, I need my leggies. I just know that a collarbone hurts. Yeah. Like it hurts. But the ligament the ligament, I know plenty of people with ACL injuries and they're wear they're pulling Rob Gronkowski's. They're wearing braces. They they can't move as, as well as they could. They're more braced than man. <sighs> All right, Cole, you always beat me at this game. <laughs> okay, uh fo- football tackle injury. Okay. Uh well may- maybe not part of this but again we don't have time for fact checking so okay uh lacerated spleen or an appendix burst oh my god (laughs) 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 and he's out with lacerated spleen come on uh appendix i guess because isn't that more common than a spleen yeah yeah seems like the the appendix would just uh be that Sharp shooting pain, but then they'd give you something to take it out. I think, I think it, you, you, you could die if the spleen got. Can't you take out your spleen? I, th- I thought. I think you can remove most organs. But... <laughs> you, can, you can only remove like one of them, though. You can't remove <laughs> whatever, one. whatever you got pairs of. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you got pairs of. Um, I, I guess appendix, because even though. God, that all sounds horrible. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, you, you, I've never, I've never really, I've never really had like an internal injury, you know, like, no. like where 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 my little innards have been working against me. That's never really happened, so I'm not sure what that pain is like. But I don't really, want, don't really want to know. It's gotta feel weird. That shit feels really weird. I love the unicorn, Rona. <laughs> um, so we're going with with the appendix first. I guess I think so. Am I, I saying that right? Appendix. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that also at the end of a book somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. the appendix. All right. All right. Community sure. school education. Uh, this one veers off a little bit. Okay. It's more movie based, but we're a we're a non biased uh, podcast. Uh, would you rather have a uh, gut shot in the gut, oh, like in Reservoir Dogs? Have... Yeah, yeah, Mo- movie based, like in Reservoir Dogs, the guy gets shot shot in the gut. You know. Okay. Or would you uh, rather sit in a wicker chair naked like James Bond and get that rope tossed to your nuts? Remember that? <laughs> I think it was Casino oh my Royale, God. right? The, guy, the henchman yep. wants his money. Oh, uh, yeah. that's so. Which, yeah, I, I don't. You're, I never saw that one. Oh, you're, that's bad. Really? No. You're dying of a gut shot, or you owe this this worldwide terrorist a bunch of money that you took from him in a poker game. And he's basically he's using one of those ropes that you'd climb up to the ceiling in gym class. Yeah. Those are the, these are the newer bonds, the Daniel yeah. Craig ones. I've never seen. Actually, haven't it's watched actually, the Daniel Craig ones. Well, now that you know there's a that scene in there, you have to watch. A it, naked but, uh, man getting hit in the nuts by a rope. Sure. Sounds Daniel like, Craig should have like got Friday the Oscar. Should have got the Oscar for that movie. <sighs> Rona, I, I there guess you go. Cole is qualified. Oh no. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Rona, you have to talk so it shows up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 
don't right, know. Well, We're going to get flagged I... for copyright. Okay. Well, either way, that's pretty much uh, the scene. Like, it's time. brutal. I'm not going with that nut shot. <laughs> Whatever the other option was. Shot in the I, gut. Shot in the gut? Slowly bleeding out? Ah. Uh, that, like it... mo- that was my money one for the week. I guess you guys didn't really like that either. I'm I'm going to have to go nut shot. Oof. Yeah, because I, I'm not I guess... going to die from that. It's just yeah, gonna... exactly temporary pain. Yeah, exactly. Eh. My, pu- yeah. my puppy's in here now. Here she but is. you've seen Reservoir Dogs, you guys, right? Of course. Come on. Uh, uh, last one, kind of wild card. Coming back to football, like we always do. This is more of like a, just a uh, uncomfortable level, not necessarily pain, so to speak. But if you're if you're watching a football game, you yeah. know you're at the stadium. Would you rather suffer through uh, like a rainstorm or or snow? Uh, I go with the snow. I, I mean, I feel like if it's snowing, you probably already prepared for it to be cold. So oh, just sitting in the snow isn't too bad. But I actually, when I went to tennis to see Bristol and Escar race in Bristol a few years ago, it actually did rain out, and I sat in the rain for I think almost two hours, hoping the race would come back. That sucked. I had a raincoat on and everything. And I still got wet, and there's nothing worse than wet socks. <laughs> Yeah, I I totally agree with you. Like snow, because most of the time you're prepared for it, just like you said. Um, yeah. You can I always gotta stump you guys. You There's a al- dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's Zoe. Uh, you can always prepare yourself for snow, um, rain though. I feel like it requires more preparation. Everything has to be waterproof. Everything has to, you know. I I just. It sounds more miserable to me, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I can better prepare myself for, for snow than rain. I'd put on slickers and drink vodka waters. It'd be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Waters. What All about, right. what about uh, you, Josh? Uh, I mean, you guys nailed it. If you're in the snow, ideally you're prepared. But I have sat through both. I don't I don't mind either because, I mean, I've, I've got, you know, rain outfits and whatnot but uh i guess the only thing that was holding me back was just it, it, it if it's snowing it's cold and uh i don't like to be cold out at a sporting event you know it's like for me it's like ugh. i've Gotta gone keep... yeah i've gone to a december and a january green bay game yeah did not snow at either of them i was honestly a little disappointed i was hoping for that frozen tundra lambo experience but it didn't didn't work out the january one was really cold though that was years was... back the bears played the seahawks uh in a playoff game at soldier field i think it was like three degrees and nobody wanted to go with me to the game like i, I kept trying to get some friends that would go and and nobody was up for sitting in that but that's pretty much all I had for uh, this or that, really. Well done. Very. I I feel I feel the pain. Was that the intention? I feel it. Yeah. Today's show brought to you by the emotion, right? Pain. 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 <laughs> loss. <laughs> we're, we're going through. We're going through. A very uplifting show we got going on today. Yeah, we're just man, we're all kinds of downers. But you know what? You gotta you gotta fall down to get back up, Cole. There you go. That's that's why we keep this show's momentum going. There you go. You uh told me yeah earlier today that you had a new segment. Yeah. Um. So this isn't gonna probably uplift anyone, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Um, it's hate hate week hate week that's right yeah. well i yeah. figure if we want to keep this going like i feel like with this segment i'm gonna pick on like a random person and if we stop it there it's gonna feel like i'm just trying to uh all right we'll t- trying we'll... to isolate so maybe we can we can do this one not maybe maybe not every show but maybe every once in a while we we try to try to determine what were you thinking where we pick a random team it can be one of us it. it can be one of our opponents it can be anyone in the league 
we look at their team together and we determine out of all of their players the one that we think what the hell were you thinking why is this person on your team oh i like it so does anyone i i i i feel like the hardest person to do this on would be the person that is absolutely destroying this league John Rowe? Yeah. So I feel like that's a fair one because it's it's going to be difficult for us to, to, to pick it out. Plus, we really can't make fun of his team too much because he's going to be 6-0 and after this week. So let's take, a look. let's take a look at John Rowe's team. How about – let's give a qu- quick rundown. So starters he's got going on. QB, he's got Matt Stafford. Um, I'm going to get the scoreboard up, see how they did this week. Quick scoreboard. So John Rowe, we got Matt Stafford with a 14.9. He's got Leonard Fournette, who has been pretty freaking good lately. 21.8 against the Rams. Jarek McKinnon kind of destroyed my Green Bay Packers. 24.9. So, so far, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good here, John Rowe. Antonio Brown, 29.5. He's got T.Y. Hilton. We should mention that the we're recording this Monday night. Um, the game between Indiana and Tennessee is still going on. I believe the fourth quarter is starting soon. But T.Y. Hilton with a 2.9 tonight, so not doing so hot. Uh, Travis Kelsey has been good. Golden Tate's been pretty good. He's got Texas defense. So, uh, you know, Texans without – Without J.J. Watt, maybe not as formidable, but still had a – they played Cleveland this week, so, you know, they did okay <laughs> against Cleveland at a yeah. 23. Uh, Matt Bryant. So what were you thinking, John, with Matt Bryant? He's old. What were you thinking? <laughs> are you – I love it. Are you, are, you pulling it, are you pulling it off of active or on the bench too? Well, those are the, those are the starters. Uh, we got bench players – we got – he's still looking okay down here. We got Frank Gore. We got Duke Johnson, um, Adam Thielen, uh, Gallman of the the, uh, the Giants. We got Safarian Jenkins of the Jets, Andrew Luck, and Shane Vereen. I So Shane Vereen, to me, I don't know if he's just riding the bench at this point. The guy is, is not really playing very much. Yeah, that's my what were you thinking? I mean, if we're tacking on John Boy is you don't you don't want to own any as I have two jets, you don't want to own any Giants <laughs> running backs. <laughs> you can flip that to what was I thinking with Elijah McGuire? I'll tell you what, I thought he'd have some more touches, but And John holding on to hope that Andrew Luck is gonna put together a season well, after being out so far. Yeah. He's got the T.Y. hookup, but, yeah, he's got yeah. Matt Stafford. He'll be all right. So, for me, John, Shane Vereen and Matt Bryant, what were you thinking? Matt Bryant's like old as hell, even though he's a indoor kicker, so that's he's got something going for him. He's probably been pretty good, but let's look. Let's look at his ranking, John. He's got a – we got a ranking of nine. That's That's okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have picked the best best team in the league here. <laughs> that was good. I liked it. Shane Vereen, Rona, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? What were, what were you thinking? Rona, you got anybody? I mean, I'm actually looking through the actual draft order right now. Man, I, I had to scroll down to like week uh, round 11. I mean, there's all the stuff you guys were saying. I mean, he drafted pretty well. It's hard to pick on. <laughs> This particular team, I mean, obviously why he scored, what, 700, 600 some points so only, far? Only, only 153.3 points this week, John? Come on. Jesus. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Maximize your <laughs> roster, bro. 637.1 points scored so far. And that's not counting week five or week six, I mean, I don't think. He loves he loves his, his Detroit Lions. Yeah. He's got, I mean, Golden Taint, I just n- am not a fan of in general. Just because of the name, mostly. Yeah, he's like Golden Tate the fourth or something. What a, Ugh. what a dude. The fourth. 
What were you thinking, naming your kid? What were you thinking? John, John Boy scored 115 points or more basically each week. I what, think. What were you thinking, geez. John? <laughs> he is going to be almost breaking 700 after six weeks. Man, over 100? That's nasty. I've That's... got two sub 100, maybe He's... three. He was thinking pretty good. Let's let's be honest here. Uh, yeah, hard hard on a pick on there. He's entering uh, Kevin McCush fantasy savant mode. Yep, just nailed the draft. Um, mine's not necessarily pertaining to uh, teams in our league, but uh, I, I wanted to know why they weren't feeding Kareem Hunt more in the beginning of that game this week against the Steelers. It, it took until the second half to see him get like more than a 10 yard reception. Normally you're used to seeing that with hump boy, as I'm sure everyone's like really tired of hearing hunt talk, but well, didn't Kansas city only have like 25 yards after the first half or something. Alex Smith. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I played him I... in my other league this week. Oh man. Yeah. He's looked so good. And then the Chiefs lay a turd, man. Zooey. What was he thinking? I was listening to radio this morning and maybe the day before, but uh, no, it was, it was this morning. Everyone was talking about how funny it is in the NFL, how things can shift quickly. Like, uh, you know, the Chiefs look great. And then after that game, it's like, oh, my God, they're terrible. They were talking about running Andy Reid out of town. Uh, and then just uh, what a difference a week can make, basically. It, it's, it's true. That's the NFL. But – are you guys even impressed with like this season? I've just so when you said run Andy Reid out of town, I just pictured like <laughs> all the, all of Kansas City chasing like a walrus with pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're talking about how he had a good thing in Philly, and they ran him out of there, and everyone's blowing up in, in Kansas City because they looked so terrible. And, uh, it's just funny, man. How the Pat Pat's defense looks. Pretty uh, pedestrian. Yeah. You know, I just real things things change, man, in, in football and in fantasy. And it's just drastic repercussions, man. It's that's why I love football so much, but man, it's just it's <laughs> he does look like a walrus. <laughs> uh, he's so cute. Oh oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that one right there for sure. Uh I don't yeah. know. I, I, football in general this year, I mean, can we kind of admit it's kind of been a, a little bit of a pooper year compared to yeah, other years? I absolutely. feel like these last two years have just been really awful. Um, officiating seems to be all over the map. There it is. Holy shit. <laughs> Actually, speaking of <laughs> – oh, my. <laughs> I love the photoshops. Sorry. Sorry. You know, you, you, you're talking about officiating. I want to kind of tie back to the – what were you thinking? And when you first told me about this segment, I was thinking more about just in football in general. Yeah. yeah. So mine was going to be – and you were talking about watching the New England game more so than the Bears game earlier, which I was also. Um, I don't know if you saw that touchdown pass to Austin Shaf- Shafarian Jenkins. That was the fumble for a turnover oh, in the yeah. end zone. I saw everybody talking about it. I actually didn't catch it, but I, yeah. So I, I watched it many times, and I still don't understand how they overturned that call. Yeah, that was the tie of the game. What too. were the refs? What were the refs thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Um, no, I agree, Rona. Like, I watched the replay of it. It it definitely looked like a touchdown to me. I don't, I don't, I didn't really get it at all. Kid caught the ball and they overturned it or something. He he slightly lost it while he was crossing the plane and then he got tackled into out of bounds and apparently apparently since he was fum- somewhat fumbling it that counts as actually fumbling it it's really hard to explain i had to watch it many times is it really that it out. is it that control of the ground thing or whatever oh <laughs> shit Rana, you're cutting it close i saw a nice shot of him his knee landing back on the ground with the ball clearly in his hands I mean, I started calling Rez. How do you fumble a ball that never left your hand? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just sucks for the Jets. You know, they're finally getting something rolling against all odds. Yeah. I definitely was cheering for them. I mean, I expressed before how I felt about New England. So 
definitely wanted the Jets to take that one. Shit. <laughs> well, I'm just looking at all the scores. Uh, Rona, you, you're in a you're climbing battle here, buddy. Yeah, um, I just uh, they were Tennessee was just in the in the red zone. I was hoping maybe I'd get lucky with a touchdown, but nope. Demarco Murray ran it in. Demarco Murray just ran it in. Cole, he's got Mariota. Tony's going against you. That's a battle as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, man, hopefully, six, he, six hopefully he beats you, Cole. Hopefully he beats me. <laughs> yeah. I'm up by 19. I feel okay right now. Demarco yep. Murray. Demarco Murray is yeah. gonna need a a big play. You're up 19 even with that touchdown. Uh, as of. Yep. As of one, all of a sudden. I guess we can check the scoreboard. What am I up? Fast. Am I up 21? Yep, 21. 21. Sorry. I. Oh, I, I clearly can't do math. 21. No, it's okay. I actually looked at it and thought it was closer than that. So go me. Um, There's still Fola, ten minutes. Fola and Kevin. This is an interesting match to watch. Fola and Kevin. Kevin's up by uh, four points. Basically, he's got the Titans D. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got it on lock. Well, Unless they lose some points. If they score another touchdown. He might go down a little bit. Could be. Could be a shootout. Get wild finish. Are you guys watching the game right now? I'm about to put it on. Uh, I was, but I don't have a TV in in this room. I'm uh, I, I'm not. I could watch it on my phone, but I don't have a TV. John Boy's kicking my dick into the dirt. Greg on on the back of uh, Howard and uh, my boy Tariq. Boy, if we got points per run, <laughs> Howard God, Howard be you. Howard be leading the league. He's he, he's got to be leading the league in touches, right? I mean, he's got oh, yeah. he's got to be absolutely, especially after this week. Can I do one more? What were you thinking? Sure. Yeah, of course. Just want to turn this into a baseball podcast real quick. Oh boy. Oh uh, boy. Oh boy. Joe Joe Madden oh, what were using thinking? using Mad Dog John Bulldog Lackey in a pretty critical game, saying that he wanted to save Wade Davis, the closer. For the save, when the game was tied, we didn't have a save op- opportunity. We had to lock it down. They pitched that ginger. I saw that coming a mile away, dude. Served up that home run, and I'm going tomorrow night. Got tickets to the we game. Along to the Bears, Ooh. who take care of business. Standing room only. That's all they had available. <laughs> you probably the- sorry. Those that are listening probably just heard a cut of an ESPN ad for half a second. So, apologies. <laughs> We need sponsors. But uh, won the postseason lottery, and all I had available was standing room. So we'll be in the building, but uh, Cubs got to win. Hey, Joe man. Madden, what were you thinking? Well, that's cool that you get to go. Yeah, I've uh, never been to a Cubs playoff game. Sweet. Wow. My, uh, dad and brother went in 98 and uh, believe maybe in 2003. But uh, – so it's Hendricks yeah. and, and who? Hendricks and you, Darvish. Oh. But to be honest, haven't had that many uh, Cubs opportunities to go to a postseason game. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I'm just glad to be going. Finally, the lottery turned out in my favor. I've been doing it for the last couple of years now and uh, always gotten denied. And It'll be cool. I'm happy to at least just be there. And uh, standing room isn't that bad because – now that the park's kind of renovated a little bit, there's a lot of places just walk around, grab a beer, and kind of do your thing. So where do you actually go when you're doing the standing room? Like, where 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 do they put people? There's there's basically uh, like yellow lines throughout the park, and you, oh, okay. I believe they just huddle you in there. And you kind of have to stand behind it or keep the line moving. But if you're smart, like, you can go up in the upper decks, and there's bars that kind of allow you to see the ball flight a little bit better. Gotcha. And so that's our plan. We're just going to be be moving, which is kind of in our favor, I guess, because uh, trying to go down into the stands and then, like, yeah. go go to the bathroom. By the time you come back, it's like a half inning, basically, you know? So might as well just be moving around, high-fiving people. We'll see. I mean, if you go there with the attendant actually, like, finding a spot to watch the game, I bet you could figure it out for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
I don't know what to expect, but uh, it's good. It's cool. Well, hopefully, you see a win. Yeah, man. Hopefully. Do or die. Yeah, bit. critical game. Yeah. Critical game. So just get the bats woke. Uh, start throwing the ball to Cream Hunt more. <laughs> you guys uh, got any parting words? Wait, can I do one last? I actually have some before we part. Oh, boy. What about talking about standings in our league right now? Because I think it, it looks looking very ahead. interesting. I like it. This show looks back, but we look ahead, too. We're looking Always ahead. Always pressing forward. Well, I mean, uh, you, you have your top four teams, obviously. You got John Road 5-0. and Then we got three people at 4-1. and one, And then a bunch of people at 2-3. and three. It's For like the, the Tour de France down there. The, They're all huddled together. <laughs> five and six seeds are going to be right. lit. Like. I mean, yeah. I I was nobody's crushed. out of it, dude. Right, nobody's exactly. out of it. we got six teams in the playoffs. Is that is that fact? Yeah, it's the four teams and the top two seeds get a bye week, and then you just go. And I kind of like it because it makes it one week playoffs instead of two. Mm-hmm. And uh, two week playoffs are just so long. It's I like the idea of being able to come back, but at the end of the day, it's like we play a week. For matchups, you know, during the regular season, might as well just stick it. Because then if yeah. if you have somebody go off and you're, like, just totally legit out of it, then it's like that next week is just terrible. Yeah, I mean, I it's would... it's it's close. I, I guess I, did, I didn't realize it was – I should know my league better. I guess I didn't realize it was six get in. So that's that makes it kind of awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. why I want to bring that up. Because you got yeah, you got f- how many bunched up there? One, five, four, four of us, five at two and three. Five of us. Holy shit! Well, this week's gonna change a little bit, but yeah. it's. I mean, I thought I was out of it to be honest with you, and I'm. I mean, I'm still trying my hardest here. I think I can still pull it off. Well, it makes me feel Sean better Watson. that there's so many uh, two and three teams below me because then I'm still a, still basically a game ahead. Mm-hmm. Four and two versus three and three. Well, half game, right? I don't know how they figure that out. Anyways, uh, so um, I'm feeling good. I kind of navigated these early couple weeks. I had a lot of injuries, some bye weeks. Last year, last week, my bench, I had one active player. And I, for the life of me, keep sitting Jameis or uh, Carson Wentz because I fall in love with Jameis. But if I can get that figured out, I think I can crawl back a little bit. I think it might be time. He's he's been pretty freaking good. <laughs> yeah, I just fall in love with that connection, man. I can't help it. Evans Anyways. has been a little bit of a disappointment this year uh, so far. For my sure. wider, my wide receivers are dog shit. I mean, I I don't know. I maybe I always get bit by the uh, um the hard knocks bug when I see these guys in the in the preseason, but um. Oh yeah, it was to- totally totally. But I mean, I mean he's, he, the last you know few years he's been on the uprise, been pretty dominant. So I definitely didn't see, and it, it's still early. He could still totally turn it around. I mean, he's got oh, the, yeah. he's got the physical skills. It just kind of yeah. has been a little bit disappointing for for Evan so far, for sure. Yeah, you used to What were you thinking, him. Josh? What were you thinking, Josh? <laughs> you you want to look at all the picks huddled around me though. Julio, Odell, Jordy. Yeah, well, Jordy's been Jordy's been good, but Jordy's yeah. been good at nabbing touchdowns. That's about it. I was thinking I wanted Mike Evans. God damn it! No, oh, I mean you shouldn't feel too good about that. I was just no. gonna say. I mean, outside of Bell and Brown, look at the top twelve. You know, first round picks in our league. Yeah. Johnson's out. Julio Jones not doing that great. Mike Evans not that great. Odell Beckham Jr. is out. Jordy Nelson is going to fall now that um, you know, Rodgers is done. A.J. Green's doing good. Michael Thomas, three receptions in a game they scored 57 points in uh, last week. I don't know what's up with that. Cook's not doing that great. Freeman is not doing that good. McCoy's doing okay. And those that's our t- top t- you know first-round picks. That's a lot yeah. of disappointments. <laughs> I was going to say, outside of uh... – The draft means nothing. Yeah, that, that, that's okay. what I think I learned this this Outside year. Outside of Brown and and Bell, who's starting to heat up, yeah. Uh, the first round, everyone's outside of like the top ten at their position. Basically, Le'Veon Bell is starting to look real good. Uh, yeah. He's like that's great. stick. 
That's so, sticking it to me for not picking him. I'm I should have went with him with pick one. Josh, you were telling me all – man, you were really – I well, he was, what you said. he was pretty garbage the first few weeks, but he was getting in shape, and now he's hitting his stride for sure. He's my favorite player to watch. He is fun to watch. Like, the patience behind the line, yeah. and he picks his spots and just he's so cuts sick. through it. Yeah, he's, Some, he's fun to watch. Sometimes it's frustrating. It's like, oh, my God, go. Yeah. <laughs> sitting there, but all of a sudden. All of a sudden, 20, 20, yards. Yeah, 20 yards later. Like, <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's – you know, Bell and Brown, I mean, two guys that'll score every week, even when the team scores like one touchdown. Yeah. Did you hear it's insane? Did you hear Martavis Bryant wants a trade? No, I did not. He I wants did hear about he that. wants to be traded, apparently. Somebody not, said that uh, the uh not they could use a quarterback to back up Big Ben and the Bears need a bona fide wide receiver, so make the trade happen. Send send Marcus Wheaton back to Pittsburgh. And, yeah, here you and, go. And and get uh, Martavis. I think that would be a, I think that would be a step in the right direction for the old Chicago Bears. I like it. Good show today. All right, boys. Yeah, absolutely. Really proud of you guys. We really pulled. You guys luck in this little bit. What's left? If you have anybody playing, you handled this or that like champs. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, pull, yeah, yeah, I need. Pull them off. <laughs> Oh no, you got this, pal. Ah, come on, one more, one rub, more, just one rub, touchdown. Rub that unicorn horn, Rona. Uh, yeah, I will. Rub, rub yeah. for luck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take, go it, take it with me. Go Good night, America. America. Go Cubs. Cubs. Don't Everybody. fuck it up, Joe. <laughs> All right, later, guys. Bye.